Hi, this is the next video about creating a game character, this time about sculpting with Blender and ZBrush. I start with ZBrush and I hope you remember the last session where I painted a sketch of my game character. It is a kind of mix between human and machine. And what I do now is I will add the sketch we created here into ZBrush there is a draw menu and you can open this and import the image to the floor or better to say to the walls of the floor and I will add this here as a front view. Well, I don't have other views, I only have this front view but basically you could also add it to the left or to the right. And what I did now is I dragged this draw menu to the right panel and now you have the possibility to reposition the image vertically and horizontally till it matches here the shape of of my sphere and now I use my move brush and the dynamesh to find a good basic shape for this base mesh that I'm sculpting. That's the first step I could have done this also with Blender, but I wanted to show you this feature in ZBrush. And when I'm done with that, I will export this base mesh as OBJ and import it into Blender. And I will use the dynamic topology feature for sculpting to sculpt in details. I could have done this also here with ZBrush, or of course I could have also created this base mesh with Blender, but I just wanted to show you these features, that's all. Okay, now have fun following along here my sculpting in ZBrush for the base mesh, till we come to sculpting with Blender.
So here we are in Blender and now I import the OBJ that I exported with ZBrush. And what I will do now, I switch to sculpting mode. First I have to scale this up, I see here it's a little bit too small. And then I will later change to dynamic topology, also called DIN topo, and I use relative detail and the size of about 3 pixels. Have fun watching this, I will fasten up the video now again, and when I'm done with the organic part, I will also add one hard surface model for the mask of this guy, using the mirror and subsurface modifiers. Okay, I'm quite happy with this. We will stop now. Of course, we could go much more into detail, but for this tutorial, I don't think that this is necessary. I will create the base mesh of the mask for the mouth. Well, he doesn't have a mouth. Uh, he doesn't need to have one because he has a mask. So I will add a simple cube now, position it right before his chin. Then I scale this and don't forget to apply the scale after you did this. Okay and after that I will change to edit mode and add some edge loops. So first one edge loop Then use box select to move around these edges here and rotate it. One more edge loop here. It's just the base mesh, okay? It doesn't need to be detailed now.
and now I select the left side, the faces of the left side, delete it because I will add a mirror modifier. And don't forget the clipping. so that the vertices in the middle are merged. Okay, and then I will add a subsurface modifier. Turn to smooth shading and now I will define sharp edges by adding edge loops and extrude out the shape of this mask so that we get a nice and crisp hard surface model for this. Okay, cool, that's it for this tutorial. This was the first part. In the next one, I will show you how to export this hard surface model into 3D code. And in this application, we use several techniques to add more details to this model. And of course, we will also create the other parts. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. It's really fun to create this character. So stay tuned and I hope to see you soon here back on JNM.